This time around, Reese Witherspoon is in control of the narrative. Back in March, the Big Little Lies star and her husband, Jim Toth, announced in a joint statement that they had, quote, made the difficult decision to divorce after 11 years of marriage. Now, Reese tells Harper's Bazaar in an interview published July 12th, it's interesting what happened to me. When I was divorced before, the tabloid media got to tell people how I was feeling or how I was processing, and it felt very out of control. Reese split from ex Ryan Philippi in 2006 after two kids and seven years of marriage. Their divorce was finalized in 2008. The 47-year-old continues, To be able to talk to people directly about what's going on in my life and just share it in the way that I share great professional experiences or personal experiences, it feels much more authentic to be able to say things in my own voice and not let somebody else control what's happening. But that's not to say Reese isn't aware of the rumors. She adds, then of course there's speculation, but I can't control that. All I can do is be my most honest, forthright self and be vulnerable. It's a vulnerable time for me. As for how the actress is feeling as of late, she notes, I don't feel isolated at all. I feel very connected. After Reese and Jim, who shared 10-year-old son Tennessee, confirmed their breakup, an insider told E! News in April, there is no drama, no event or reason. They are just two people who have made the decision with the utmost love and respect and love for their child. You will see them out there co-parenting together. But Reese is no stranger to amicable co-parenting. In addition to being a mom to Tennessee, she also shares 23-year-old daughter Ava and 19-year-old son Deacon with Ryan, and the former couple and Cruel Intentions co-stars show up for their kids together. Following their son's 18th birthday party in 2021, Ryan captioned a series of photos on Instagram, We are lucky to be your mom and dad. Love you, pup. I'd say we did pretty good. Reese Witherspoon. Plus, this April, they both attended Deacon's album release party.